This tutorial will take you through how to use the curve editor to manually control the speed of an object. In this example you have three identical lines and objects. Start by making all the objects move along the lines the same way. Pick the first sphere and go to the properties page and choose Bongo. Press the animate selected objects button. This activates the bongo features. Choose simple constraint and constraint to path. When you're asked to select a curve, choose the line next to the sphere. Do the same thing with the other two spheres. Press play to see that you now have three identical animations. The goal is now to make example number one stay the way it is. Example number two move slow in the beginning and end and fast in the middle. Example number three move fast in the beginning and end and slow in the middle. The curve editor will help to control the speed of the object with the help of a graph. Start up the curve editor from the bongo menu or from the toolbar. Pick sphere number 2 and you will be able to see in the curve editor that the object moves at a constant speed from start to finish. To be able to change this you need to adjust the tweening settings for the object. To do this you need the keyframe editor. Start up the keyframe editor from the bongo menu or the toolbar. From the bongo menu you can easily see which windows you have currently in use. All the active windows have check marks in front of them. In the keyframe editor select all the keyframes. You can also do this one by one but to save time it's easier to select them all in one go. Go to the tweening settings for the constraints and change it from cardinal spline to custom. This activates the handles in the curve editor that make it possible to manually control the curve. To make the object move slow first and then fast, we make the curve leveled at the beginning and end and steep in the middle. Press play to watch the changes you've made. As you can see, sphere number 2 moves slow in the beginning and end and fast in the middle. Next, pick sphere number 3. In the keyframe editor, change the tweening settings to custom. The blue line on the timeline indicates that all the keyframes inside that area are currently selected. In the curve editor, change the curve so that the curve is steep in the beginning, leveled in the middle and steep again at the end. By hovering the cursor over the curve editor you can zoom out by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. That gives you more room to move the handles around. Press play to see the result on how the tweening settings you made affects the speed of the objects.